Fugitive John Anderton identified. That might be one of the wimpiest sounding robots I've ever heard in my entire life. Alright, welcome to Minority Report Level 6. I didn't really get a good chance to show off the robots before, so I figured, why not now? So this guy's got a couple different weapons. He's got the ability to backhand you, so that's a weapon, right? Uh, he's also got a concussion rifle and a machine gun. He uses the concussion rifle when he's feeling friendly and the machine gun when he's not. He'll also go for that backhand whenever you get up close. So the trick to beating them is to... Well, the real trick to beating them is to not mess around and just shoot them. Uh, guns are really your best bet. Uh, shotgun's your best choice, followed by the machine gun and the concussion rifle if you really have to. Alright, new enemy here. We have the Fat Mall Cop. Get out of here. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay. So, they've got a couple moves. Uh, they'll tackle you, as you saw a little bit there. Uh, you can still hurl them around like they were anybody else. Uh, they have another move where they raise their arms up and they, if they bring them down, it just kind of knocks your character over. It's not too bad. Those guys aren't too bad. Their biggest thing is they have more health than a lot of other enemies at this point. So they take more time to beat up, essentially. Uh, another new enemy is the skinny mall cop. He has actually very similar moves to the fat one, except that he can counter you and spin you like a dozen times like you just saw. He'll do that whenever you go to kick him twice. So on that second kick, he'll catch your leg. Alright, let's move on. So we broke the glass and now we can push the button and get a new machine gun too. Now, you'll hear this kind of crashing noise right there, I just talked over it. Uh, that's going to happen a lot throughout this video. I'm not entirely sure why, but there's a glitch or something in this level, or maybe it's just the copy I have, where that sound won't stop playing. I think it's because if you knock somebody into something and I just haven't noticed, not sure, but that sound won't stop. And I have several recordings, but that's our first secret down there, not to get sidetracked. It's not too hard to get out of that spot, though I do have a video of me attempting to leave for about two minutes. It was really sad. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh no! We've been stopped. Is anybody is anybody surprised by that? No? Alright. Well, let's fight some more cops. These guys really aren't too bad. They're, they're pretty slow. The pre-crime guys are actually uh, a lot worse than these, but we get to beat up these guys for a while, so let's try some new moves on them. There's my wind-up punch. Um, a lot of combos are done just by hitting uh, various combinations of kick, punch, and block, or grab. Uh, but a few of them are also done like that wind-up punch that happened a little bit earlier. By holding down the last button you push. Uh, so far, I just have it for a punch and a kick, but there are a few other combos that we'll see in the next video and how they work. Now, the strategy I want to reiterate is, if you're fighting enemies, get up high, throw them off of things. Falling damage is going to do more damage than you ever can, and that's saying something. John Anderton can really murder a lot of people. And robots. Thank you for your health, robot. Alright, so let's go ahead and just get to the end now of the man, level. All that's left is to slip out the back door and... <laughs> Damn. I love that kick. So the spin kick is still a very good move, and especially against the mall cops. Um, for now, it's, it's good. It becomes a bit of a liability later. You'll also see me do it a lot. It's not just that I am a cheap individual that likes knocking over enemies. It's just an all-around good move. You can use it to uh, knock over multiple enemies, which is helpful, because John Anderton doesn't really have a lot of moves that hit multiple enemies. Yeah, I think I can beat this guy. Ooh, no, no. Okay, get the health. Um, so the other thing that you'll, you'll see me do the spin kick a lot also, because if you go to change direction and kick another enemy, because you're swiveling the stick to do that, your guy just does the kick. John Anderton just loves his roundhouses. So let's go get the second and last secret of the level. You get a concussion rifle. Always nice. You can play with these buttons, though they don't really seem to do much. If you like doors that go up, and if you like jail cells, then this is the room for you, I suppose. Let's go ahead and just end the level. Actually, let me show you something here. Uh, if you ever have any trouble during this fight, you can run back into the closet there and get that health. Not really a huge secret, but helpful. 
and let's get out of here before we hear that noise again. So I had a few issues I had to uh, retry to really get this recording right. Um, and I'm going to end this video with me attempting to just run through here. But yes, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe. We'll have more minority reporting happening. Minority reporting sounds weird. Anyways, so if you like these videos, check us out. Uh, we also have other videos that we're posting on uh, this channel, made by other really cool people. So yeah, feel free to check everything out, and I will see you guys in level 7.